Steve Humphrey with a forecast there. Yes, yes. really. You may what, as well what are you just doing? Think about Storm <laughs> Dennis, and Alexis. Storm <laughs> Dennis, yes. Well, you heard about it in Steve's report. It's arriving this weekend. Um, the wind's not as expected to be as strong, but still fairly brisk. Gusts of up to 70 miles. And rain. Yes, and some heavy rain. I'll talk about that in just a second. Amelia Coffin, photograph the sunny conditions in Swanage today. Uh, Merrin Woodland uh, captured the blue skies in Selsey. And Victoria Timms took this picture in Brill in Buckinghamshire. We had a good deal of sunshine today, but we did also have one or two sharp showers, uh, hail and even some thunder in a few places. Now, over the next few days, we can expect uh, further showers. They could be wintry in nature. This window on the weather was captured at Western Shore in Wollstone by one of our weather watchers earlier on. Now, overnight tonight, there is a chance we could have a wintry shower, an extra of hail, sleet and even a dusting of snow, but a lot of dry weather as well. And with the wind slowly starting to ease, temperatures will fall away below freezing. So we're expecting a widespread frost first thing tomorrow morning. A chilly start to the day, temperatures and minus figures, but they will recover to around 8 or 9 degrees. Through the day, there is still the risk of a wintry shower, more likely through tomorrow afternoon after a dry start. And the showers could be heavy enough to produce some hail and even thunder. Temperatures tomorrow will peak at around 8 or 9 degrees. So it will be a breezy day tomorrow, but not as windy as recent days, and the winds will gradually ease tomorrow afternoon. But on the inshore waters, the winds are southwesterly, 4 to 6, backing southerly, 7 to severe gale 9, then westerly later. The visibility is good, becoming moderate or poor, and the sea state is moderate or rough, occasionally very rough later. Now, tomorrow we start on a fairly dry note, but through the early hours of Thursday morning, we'll start to see an area of low pressure move in, and that will bring us some windy conditions and quite heavy rainfall. And this rainfall could be quite persistent in places and may lead to localised flooding in a few areas. Lows tomorrow night of 3 or 4 degrees. Through the course of Thursday, the low pressure, this this area of low pressure will bring us the wet and windy conditions Wednesday night into Thursday morning. The rain clears first thing on thir Thursday and will be followed by some sharp showers. Now the showers will be very much hit and miss, but it will be a very windy day. The winds slowly easing through the course of Thursday into Friday. Now a slight ridge of high pressure will build on Friday, settling things down. So we'll see some sunny spells and a mainly dry day. But it doesn't end there because Storm Dennis is on the way for Saturday. And it's Saturday afternoon. We have some weather warnings out from the Met Office. Through the course of Saturday, we're expecting wind warnings from midday until midnight on Saturday and a rain warning from midday on Saturday until midday on Sunday. The chance of localised flooding and also some storm damage from the strong winds. Sally. Alexis, thanks very much. Uh, that's it from us. We've got more, of course, at 10.25. And tomorrow, guess what? We're going to be at the pub of the year. Well, we're Looking not, but some that. lucky oh, person is. Well. <laughs> That's it from us. Join us tomorrow if you can. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night.